You can set up the NSG 3060 on a bench or on the ground plane itself. Um, some labs keep it on wheels for mobility purposes, and when it comes to surge, it doesn't matter. I've plugged in the shorts, the low output, and the interconnect cable into the high output. I've ran into uh, the INA 175 with the gas resistors, uh, feeding those into the CDN 118, all on top of a ground plate, which I'll ground to earth. This is primarily a safety feature and transients shouldn't be fed through this cable into the wall, but test labs will use thicker gauge wire and secure to a water pipe or earth rod for more security. And even though this is an epic how-to video that is certainly going viral, you should still read the manual for all safety considerations. Don't forget the interlock connector into the back of the telecom module. We'll go back and ground the CDN118 to the generator another safety measure. This is a brand new system so I'm using cables and connectors I have lying around. The kit will come with banana plugs that can uh, be manufactured to your preferred length. There's also a grounding strap supplied for a more sturdy grounding to the generator. Again keep in mind this is a quick crude way to get a test done when you're running a system. I'm going to splice into some images of setups in compliance labs. You can pause the video to take a good look. I'm just going to burn through these photos. Note the method of grounding the CDN by placing it on top of the surge generator itself. Okay, I've clipped three of my wires into place. and I have a spring-loaded probe, which is pretty nifty for thin wires. <clears throat> Feel free to go back and take another look at the third picture. Some, uh, some unique adapters there that are more suitable for permanent and day-to-day -day testing. I'm going to insulate these guys here quickly. Let's not forget to isolate this part of the setup to prevent any arcing to the ground plane. Once I've flipped on the generator and let it run through its self-check procedure, I'll move into one of my test areas. The 10 by 700 waveform is to be used on long distance data line testing. Uh, once we are in the test area, we can start by selecting the load standard procedures to make life easy. And we can scroll through these ANSI standards and down past the power lines and into the unshielded symmetrical communication line testing. We'll select level one here. To adjust any of the values on the screen, you can use the wheel or you can use the keypad here. And product standards like EN55024 will define rep time duration phase that you can program easily enough and slam on the play button. You'll hear the warning alarm as the generator warms up and the lights on the right illuminate in case you are hard of hearing and can't hear the discharge or my lovely voice. Finally, don't touch anything while the generator is running, and it's still probably not a bad idea to read the manual.